So yeah. Rita says, agreed, it's no good, neither is Monk. Paleo interfering, interfering with the hormonal stuff. You see, like when you when you stop uh, the menstruation, that's probably somehow causing a rise in estrogen, right? Like, remember, um, <laughs> women are such complex creatures, right? They have this uh, two weeks to ovulation, ovulation spike, post-ovulation, uh, and then menstruation, right? The first half is driven by estrogen. Then there's a massive spike. And then progesterone comes in and prepares the body for the next pregnancy if it's going to happen, right? And so it's always, it's it's sort of like an engine, right? Up, down, up, down, <laughs> cycling through these uh, different things. Now, a lot of plants, but especially seeds and nuts, have this xenoestrogen present in them. It's called xenoestrogenic effect. When you overdo seeds or nuts, you end up with too much estrogen, and it will throw things out of balance, turning men into girls, having them grow breasts and losing their testicles, stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound very much fun. Well, it's a problem, right? Like uh, too much of a good thing. And uh, by the way, there's a there's a real uh, quick little uh, hack for seeds and nuts, soak them. When you soak them, they start sprouting. And the moment they start sprouting, this xenoestrogen effect is blocked. 